Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's get more assembly done. off that's good solid all the way around that's good all right <clears throat> just some cleanup along the edges here That's easy enough, no big deal. So just got some putty work to do around here. Other than that, she looks really good. So I was cleaning up the edges here and then this section here popped off. So I had to re-glue that and re-clamp it. Um, but that's something to be expected. It'll happen. And once that sets, just re-clean that area up. A little bit of repainting, boom, done. So now for here, we can start getting these wires here in place, getting them tied together where they're supposed to go. So these ones here with the extras on there, the warp engines, and these other ones are for the navigation lighting. Okay, so I forgot to put resistors on the tractor emitter there and on the back it's here and i gotta do the uh, uh the red up here as well for the uh, observation deck so once i get the uh resistors on here i'm gonna tie these in together and then run a line that runs over here to tie that one in with these other two over here um let's figure i'm gonna take this one tie it in well, I can't tie it in with the warp engines because I'm going to I'm gonna have the warp engines on, on their own line where I can turn them off and on. Um, so I'm going to have one, two, three, four lines going down. Oh, I really hope I can get four lines down that small little pole to this thing. Yeah, I should be able to. It's going to be a tight fit, but it should be all right. Uh, so these here are going to have to get tied into here, but what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to get a 5 volt regulator for in here, because I got to take these, where these pot lights are hooked up here, I got to take them off of that, put them through the 5 volt regulator and tie them back in. Uh, so there's, there's a few bit of wiring I got to do yet before I even think about getting this thing closed up. Okay, so I got my regular here, all ready to go. So I'm going to put this right over here, around like this. It's out of the way, it's not going to interfere with anything on that side. So I just got it on this pad here, so it, it will create heat, and I, I don't want it to do any kind of damage to the plastic. And it works. It it really works. So I'm going to glue that right there like that. Okay, now this here is the power coming in ground and the one over here is the power out so i'm going to take these positive lines here and i'm going to go on that far one center pin I just don't want these to move because 
since these wires are so small, they're very delicate and they're prone to popping off, snapping. Okay, so those are all ready to go. These lines here go over to the other lights on the other half of the hull. Uh, navigation warp engines here, I'm going to put on longer lines that'll go down into the stand, which means I have to put a third, uh, a second switch in to turn the warp engines on and off. Uh, it's looking good. All right, now, here we are. So far, we got the small strip here, which will light up the uh, bottom part of the neck. Got it tied into this main line here. And then I got a main power line here, which goes down into the stand, which lights up everything. So I got wires to run here yet for the warp engines, which will go down. Got to tie the navigation lighting in together with this one on this side. And these here going to these uh, tractor beam lighting there. Uh, so everything is tied in to there. And I got the uh, deflector dish here that has to get tied into here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some extra wiring on here that comes sticking out the front here to be able to tie all this other loose stuff in with it, including the other wiring that's coming down from the top. So it sticks out the front here, and then I just tuck it in later. So let's get that extra wiring on here on the regulator for everything to tie into, because when it's together... I can't get my fingers in there to do it unless I can no it's got to be done that way okay okay so I replaced the wires that were on here and here made them longer so I can get them over here to the regulator so get those in and then I got lines to go from the regulator up here to the main power source um, and then I got to have lines from there coming out the front for the top part here to tie into and then just tuck the wires in. So I got uh, the main power going to the regulator, which goes to the regular LEDs. And now I'm going to tie in the uh, warp engines together here. And they'll have their own line going down. And then we got the navigation lighting, which will get tied in later to the primary hull navigation lighting and so forth and so on. Okay, so I decided I'm just going to tie everything in together here right now. So I got uh, these here are the lines from the main power source that lights up everything. Uh, and then we got, I think this was navigation and this was the strobe. <laughs> I'll find out when I do a light test. So I won't solder them together on there just yet until I know which one's which. So let's get these main power lines in right now.
Okay, you know when I originally said I was going to have the warp engines on our own switch? Well, I can't because I got all the other lighting up in here tied into the warp engines, so I had to put them right directly on to the main power here. Sigh. So, let's uh, run these lines here down through the hole here. That'll go for the phasers and torpedoes. So, let's get those run. Okay, those run now. We can tie in these two there, and then we can get the navigation lights in tied together, and as well get lines drawn here to the strobe and these navigations. Okay, all the wiring is done now. Got the uh, navigation wiring all tied in. This line here. The flashers right here, the strobes right down there. Main wiring going through, phasers, torpedoes going through. And I think that was it. It was just these three main cable lines that are going through. Let's do a quick light test. And just to make sure everything is actually going to turn on before finally putting it all together. Good. Looks good. Everything lighting up quite nicely. Looking good. Okay, so the only thing here left to do is to tie in the deflector into the uh, 5 volt regulator down here. So I got to put on a I'm going to take these two lines off. I'm going to put the little bit longer lines on there. And that is ready to go. I actually thought about that. I can just tie them into these lines here since they're already going to the regulator. So just uh, I'll take those lines and tie them into this here. So the positive up here, the negative there, and uh, then we're good to go. Everything's looking good. Got everything all tied in together there. I did a light test. Thrusters light up beautifully. Okay, so let's get the engineering hull together. And the last thing we'll put on is that part of the hull. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get it done. There we go, looking not too bad. Yeah, the engines are pretty much lined up, looks pretty good. 
Very nice. Okay. Okay. Well, this is ready to be taken off now. And we can get this final bit on. Okay, looking good. So, um, one issue you have to be aware of is I had to put a, um, a two mil strip of plastic on this edge inside. Because when you look at it this way, this is off kilter, making the, 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 um, the back here look like it's crooked compared to the rest of the ship, which it isn't. This is a fault of the mold. I don't know. It's been like that for decades. So you put a two mil sheet, just a, a small one like this, or a couple of one mils, thin strips. You cut them thin, put it in the side here, which will orientate the neck to the proper uh, angle that it's supposed to be. So when that's done, it looks a whole lot better. Mind you, there'd be a little bit more of a gap here, so I just really caked the glue in there, and then later I'll go by with the putty, fill in the area, repaint it, and uh, should take care of any light bleed through um so that looks good there not bad okay looking really good not bad all right so let's get these lines run down the stand so i'm going to start with the uh, main power here Phasers next. Just make sure I got something to brace the back there because you don't want any pressure on the uh, pylons. So now let's get the rest of this wired up here. Okay, so you can see this area here. I got that filled back in. That was with the switch. You're supposed to turn the warp engines on and off. But since I had all those other lights tied into the warp engines, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. <clears throat> Now this little control board here is for the phasers. And we got the phasers right here, so I can leave that on there, so I know what the what this wire is for. I'm not going to take it off. So the positive and negative. Have we go to the switch and get the 
these are actually to the LEDs only. <laughs> this is supposed to go over here to the phaser switch. Well, I'll make this the phaser switch here, the plunger switch. So the main line here, the red line will go here and the power red line will go here and here um and then we got the torpedoes here which would go right through the switch i can tie the negatives in together so let's see this light purple is the positive to the led dark blue wire is the negative now I have to run wires the positive and negatives well, let's see the uh... positive here Going over to the main power in, so I gotta run lines there. The negative will tie in to the negative on here. need a 5 volt regulator here for this. Okay, I got a regulator there. It's all ready to go. Just got to let the glue set before I can put it in place. Until then, let's get this other wiring finished. So let's concentrate on getting the main power here hooked into there and the switch. I got this thing hooked up properly. Yep, I do. Looks good. Okay. That is done. Main switch is finished. 
nothing else needs to hook into it. So now it's just the, what's this, torpedoes. So I'll need a negative line from here to tie into the negative line on the torpedoes. And a positive line from the power going to the switch. I need the five volt regulator for the torpedo as well. Okay, so I got the negative and the positives here from this going to here, the negative line, positive line going over. So I got the positive line here. It's going to tie into the power out on the regulator. Power out of that going here to the switch. Okay, so that's the torpedo. I got the power negative here. The torpedo has to go to the center pin. Just got to hook in the phasers now for the plunger switch. And they're ready to go. Okay, I made a small boo-boo for uh, hooking this up for the phasers. The positive line goes over to the switch, and then we have another positive line going over here to the regulator. Because everything going through the switch turns everything on and off. That's why you do that. And of course, the negative from here goes to the center pole here on the regulator. Uh, the torpedoes are hooked up, phasers. Just gotta put heat shrink on those and it is ready to go. All right, looks good. Let's turn it all on. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. These torpedoes. And we got the phasers. Good. Very good. It's coming along. Almost there. Just got to put the, the painting on here for the little slide, the lines there. You see, I covered over the areas where the light leaked through. Uh, for here, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to glue this. So I'm going to use this, uh, the uh, plastic putty here. Putty it all the way around and, uh, color it in so there's no light leak around the edge there just so in case something happens it's easy enough just to be able to pop this off just in case so i can get inside and uh, other than that 
We're almost ready for the Aztecs. Okay, so I got the plastic putty on there. I'll clean it up after, but it looks good. Almost done, everyone. Uh, I glued the uh, model to the stand up here just to help stabilize it more and to keep it from drooping forward because it's still pretty nose heavy here. But anyway, that's it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to do the final touch-up painting and then apply the Aztecs and the final decaling. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.